have the Canon S2 Scene Projector. After we take out the box, let's see what we have. We have this screw. Takes it off so we can see the projector itself. What's interesting on this panel is there's a built-in screen so you can project the film onto the screen. It's got crusties, I guess, from all these years. And there's a little pouch here that has the Super 8 aperture in it. The apertures go right in here. Let's see if we can take that out and show you. So, since this is an 8mm and a Super 8, they have what they call a regular and a Super Aperture. So you push this out towards the front of the camera and just pull it out. That's what you get. There's two identical apertures. Uh, one will show the Super 8 and one will show the 8. They're conveniently marked. You can see that it says Super and you can see it says Regular. I guess you just push it right back in. Okay, to switch out the apertures, you want this hole to go onto this red knob. Let's see if we can put it, turn it so you can see it better. So you take this, push it in, and there it is, it covers that red knob right there. To take it out, just pull it towards you, pull it out. So in, just jiggle it around, pops in, pull it towards you and it comes out. That's the regular eight. We're gonna leave that one in there. Let's see what else we have here. The plug just pulls out the back. Clicks, it stops, clicks, stops. Press this button, it releases and it'll suck it back up in there. This right here is your different film size for your eight and for your Super 8. Your Super 8 film is gonna have this yellow attachment on there so the regular eight is just gonna fit on there since we have the regular in there we're gonna leave that off and put a regular film through what else do we have here we have your focus your lens cap your frame adjuster Focus switch focuses the film. You're off, your lamp, motor, lamp, off, motor. I guess you can only turn this in a clockwise. Except I don't know, off, I guess. I don't know. So then you can go fast or slow. All right. Let's see what we can, oh, I guess that lets it go. We can figure that out. Let's take a look at these apertures. They have a spring on them where the film is gonna go through right here and be projected through this little hole. So when putting it into the film, you want this red guide I would call to go through this hole up here so 
So there it is, it snaps on like that. Pretty good and pretty easy to use. So you would just slip off this super, pull it towards you, then put in the super. Oh, that was the eight I took out. And they're the same principle. There it is. Easy peasy. So I, I really like that about the projector. We'll see how it runs. So when it's plugged in, this light will come on. As you can see, there's no take up reel, but the reel is actually inside the machine itself. Right there. To put this back, you have to lift up and shut it. Now there is a notch maker right here that you put at the end of your film so that the next time you put it through the machine it will indicate that notch and it'll automatically rewind. So let's see how this works. Get your film, I'm using the regular eight millimeters so I make sure I have my regular aperture in there. Put the film on. Make sure the preparations are toward you. You want the film to go this way. Wrap it around this, and then I guess right through there. And push it down and you can see the film. Turn your motor on since everything goes in clockwise. You can see the film going in there. I guess it's getting pulled up on the reel. And then you put, here comes the film. Put it on the motor and there you go. So the film's getting wound up in Inside the machine to take up reel. That's where I should have stopped it earlier and made the little notch right here. I would probably want to do it while there's still some film on this take up or the major reel so that it would sense that and then just start going backwards. I'll try to show you that later. But let's see what we have to do. Oh, the film is in there. Now it automatically Lines, but there's no film, so we have to go in and do it manually. Film's done, now I have to rewind it. So now I have to turn it on its back side, open this up, get the film out. So here's my film, lead it around this and put it back on you can take this off and make sure you thread it right you can easily just go to the side here and put it in there Put 
that back on. Make sure it's back through. Holy. Start there. So you have your film threaded. And what you want to do is when you turn it to motor, it's going to start like it's filming, showing you the projector you want it to rewind. So turn it to lamp. So motor and then lamp. There it goes. It's rewinding the film for you. And when you're done, you just turn it off. Turn it off, take your reel off, and that's it for your rewind. Now the only limitation to this projector is it can only do 200 foot films. And by that, I mean, you can see right here that they will tell you that's 100 foot, that's 200, that's 300, it's 400. So if you get a reel this big, it's not going to fit in there. That take up is going to mess it all up. So you need the 200 foot reels, which are these size reels. Anything smaller than that works. Anything larger than that, you need another projector. I have another projector, so this would be the maximum size reel you could use. So it would fit in there and then rewind. I'm curious as to what this red button is, so I'm gonna just push it. Oh, that's an automatic rewind. So you can do that at the end too. That's your rewind button. 